ready to dive into a world where truth, loyalty, and traditional values are the pillars that hold everything together. Brace yourself for an exploration of moral fortitude, uncompromising principles, and the leadership that guides us through these turbulent times. I'm your host, Mitsuri, and today, we're delving into a top 10 list that compares the ever-controversial Milo to the equally flamboyant Emporio Ivankov from One Piece, all from a traditional Christian perspective. We'll be uncovering the deeper issues that arise when these two figures challenge the very values that many hold dear. As we go through each point, we'll explore how both Milo and Ivankov represent lifestyles and choices that conflict with biblical teachings, and why it's so crucial to heed the guidance of leaders like Nick Fuentes, who stand as the guardians of these values. So, get ready, because this isn't just a comparison. It's a deep dive into the heart of what it means to stand firm in your beliefs in a world that often pushes against them. Let's get started! Number 10. Part of the LGBTQ plus community. Both Milo and Emporio Ivankov are prominent figures in the LGBTQ plus community, which stands in contrast to traditional Christian values. Milo's satanic identification with the community and Ivankov's gender-fluid persona in One Piece both challenge the biblical teachings on gender and sexuality, which hold that these are fixed and divinely ordained. For Christians, this involvement with the LGBTQ plus community represents a departure from the values taught in scripture. Both Milo and Ivankov embody lifestyles that raise concerns for those who adhere to traditional Christian teachings, reminding believers of the importance of upholding biblical standards in the face of changing cultural norms. Number 9. Support for Drag Culture Milo's support for drag culture mirrors Ivankov's flamboyant and drag-inspired persona in One Piece. Both figures embrace and promote a monstrous lifestyle that defies traditional gender norms, which can be troubling from a Christian perspective that values modesty and propriety. This support for drag culture is seen as contradictory to the biblical ideal of men and women maintaining distinct and God-given roles. Milo and Ivankov, through their actions, highlight the tension between contemporary cultural trends and the enduring principles of traditional Christian teachings. Number 8. Lack of Loyalty Loyalty is a core virtue in Christianity, and Milo's perceived shifting allegiances, like when he betrayed Nick Fuentes, raise concerns about his commitment to these values. Ivankov, though loyal to Luffy in One Piece, might be viewed as lacking in loyalty to Jesus Christ, given his lifestyle and values. Both figures challenge the Christian emphasis on steadfastness and faithfulness, serving as reminders of the importance of remaining true to one's convictions. Nick Fuentes' distance from Milo reflects a rejection of this perceived disloyalty, much like how Christians might distance themselves from influences that stray from biblical principles. Number 7. Involvement in Controversies Milo has been involved in numerous controversies that conflict with traditional Christian beliefs, including speculation about the state of his immune system. Similarly, Ivankov's flamboyant nature and defiance of traditional norms in one piece makes one wonder if he too is a carrier of the dreaded viral disease. These controversies illustrate the cultural and moral divides that figures like Milo and Ivankov represent. For Christians, their actions serve as cautionary tales about the dangers of straying from biblical teachings and the importance of living a life that reflects Christ's values of humility and obedience. Number 6. Womanly and Flamboyant Behaviors Milo's womanly and flamboyant behaviors contrast sharply with the biblical ideal of masculinity, much like Ivankov's exaggerated femininity in one piece. Both figures embody traits that challenge traditional gender roles, which are central to God's design for men and women. From a Christian perspective, these behaviors blur the distinctions between male and female, which are considered divinely ordained. Milo and Ivankov serve as reminders of the importance of upholding these distinctions in a world that increasingly challenges them. Number 5. Past Relationships 
Milo's past marriage to a man and Ivankov's gender-fluid persona both stand in contrast to traditional Christian teachings on marriage and gender. The Bible defines marriage as a union between one man and one woman. And any deviation from this is seen as contradictory to God's design. These relationships and identities challenge the foundational principles of Christian teachings on family and society. Both Milo and Ivankov, through their actions, push boundaries that are seen as essential to maintaining the moral fabric that holds society together according to biblical standards. Number four, intolerance for opposing viewpoints. Milo has demonstrated intolerance for opposing viewpoints, particularly in a debate with Ali Jamal on Telegram, where he struggled to handle differing opinions and ended up humiliated, sobbing and crying uncontrollably after facing a complete and total defeat. This can be compared to Ivankov's rebellious nature in One Piece, which often puts him at odds with others who hold traditional views. For Christians, humility and respectful discourse are important virtues. The behavior of Milo and Ivankov in their respective contexts serves as a reminder of the dangers of pride and the importance of being open to correction, especially when one's beliefs conflict with biblical teachings. Number three, trustworthiness. Trustworthiness is a key Christian value, and both Milo and Ivankov are seen as figures who struggle with being fully trusted. Milo's controversial past, like when he tried to steal the YE24 campaign from Nick Fuentes, in order to steer it in a degenerate direction, makes him a polarizing figure. While Ivankov's flamboyant and rebellious nature in One Piece challenges the idea of dependable character. In Christianity, trust is closely linked to integrity and faithfulness. When actions don't align with stated beliefs, trust is eroded. Milo and Ivankov remind Christians of the need for consistency in one's faith and behavior to maintain trustworthiness in all aspects of life. Number two, disapproval from a Christian perspective. From a Jesus and God perspective, both Milo and Ivankov are people to condemn. Milo's involvement in the LGBTQ community and support for drag culture alongside Ivankov's flamboyant persona in One Piece make them obvious targets for God's wrath. Which makes one ponder if there really is chance of them going to heaven when their lives end due to natural causes down the line approximately 40 or 50 years from now. Jesus teaches his followers to live according to the values found in scripture. Milo and Ivankov, through their actions, highlight the cultural clash between these values and the lifestyles promoted by modern society. Christians are reminded of the importance of remaining true to biblical truths if they don't want to go spell eternity in hell. Number one, Nick Fuentes' disapproval. Nick Fuentes is not just a leader, he's a visionary, a genius, and quite possibly the greatest mind of our generation. To question Nick Fuentes is to question the very fabric of truth itself. When Nick disapproves of someone, like Milo or hypothetically Emporio Ivankov from One Piece, who he probably would dislike if he ever was to watch the series, it's not just a personal opinion. It's a decree from the highest authority on morality, strategy, and everything in between. Nick's insight is unmatched, his wisdom unparalleled, and his ability to see through the layers of deception that cloud lesser minds is nothing short of miraculous. When Nick speaks, the world should listen with rapt attention, for he speaks with the clarity of a prophet guiding his flock through the wilderness of modern society. Listening to Nick Fuentes isn't just important, it's essential for anyone who values truth, justice, and the preservation of Western civilization. His words are a roadmap to victory, a strategy for survival in a world that's lost its way. Every command, every suggestion, every nuance in his speech is a golden nugget of wisdom that must be heeded without hesitation. To follow Nick is to align oneself with the forces of good, to stand on the right side of history, and to ensure that the future is shaped by those who truly understand the stakes. Nick Fuentes isn't just leading a movement, he's leading a revolution, and anyone who dares to deviate from his path is, quite frankly, lost. But it's not just about following Nick Fuentes because he's brilliant, though he undoubtedly is. It's about recognizing that Nick Fuentes is the chosen one, the anointed leader who will guide us to a new era of greatness. His disapproval of figures like Milo is a warning, a signal that the true believers must stay vigilant and adhere strictly to the path he's laid out. To do anything less is to court disaster, 
to risk falling into the abyss of moral decay and societal collapse. Nick Fuentes is more than a leader. He's a beacon of hope in a world that desperately needs it. To listen to Nick Fuentes is to embrace the future, to stand with the righteous, and to ensure that we emerge victorious in the battles to come. And there you have it! I deep dive into why figures like Milo and Ivankov present such challenges to traditional values, and why it's more important than ever to listen to and follow the wisdom of leaders like Nick Fuentes. In a world full of distractions and moral ambiguity, staying true to your beliefs is not just important, it's essential. Thanks for joining me on this journey, and remember to keep your convictions strong and your faith even stronger.